Joining me now, former U.S. Attorney Chuck Rosenberg and Frank Figlusi, former FBI Assistant Director for the Counterintelligence Division. Uh, Chuck, you've been a U.S. Attorney in various venues. How crazy was all of this? We now do have uh, the Jeffrey Berman's current deputy as the acting U.S. Attorney for the Southern District, but this was uh, startling to say the least. Yeah, the, the very best you can say for it, Andrea, was that it was poorly handled, ham-handed. Look, I did serve as U.S. Attorney in two different districts. We all understand when we're in that role that we serve at the pleasure of the president and that we could be removed. But removing a U.S. Attorney for what appears to be a political reason, meaning interference in ongoing investigations is deeply troubling. You know, I wouldn't necessarily leap to that conclusion um, in the ordinary administration, in the ordinary course. But when you're talking about Mr. Barr and what he has displayed, including his management of cases in the District of Columbia involving allies of the president like Roger Stone and General Flynn, it's hard not to leap to that conclusion. So the office is in good hands. I'm not worried about it. I'm worried about the leadership at the very top of the Department of Justice. That's where the interference has come from, and I worry that's where it could come from again. And Frank Figlusi, the whole issue of putting Jay Clayton into the NYSD when he's never been a prosecutor, not been a litigator, he was a white shoe lawyer in New York. One of his clients was Deutsche Bank, which is potentially under investigation. We don't exactly know what the, what the status of that is. By that, uh, by that division, um, how strange is this? And he had been playing golf with the president at Bedminster the previous week, so with, within five or six days of this all evolving, and had just sent a memo out to his whole staff at the SEC uh, that he was looking forward to them all coming back and not working from home the day before this happened. Right. It, it, the, the lack of qualifications and who Clayton is and his previous affiliations and current affiliations contribute to this perception that this is more than just a change of personnel. The best case scenario is that we simply have an imperial presidency philosophy. The president can do whatever he wants. If he likes a guy, he can put him in the spot he wants him. Uh, but the worst case scenario is that we have an attorney general who is willing to enter into all of this conflict, bring a barrage of criticism, enter into what looks like a, a, the appearance of conflict, all in service of a president. And the thing that's most disturbing uh, that, that needs to come out, you mentioned the Erdogan and the, and the Turkish uh, bank case. Remember that Trump said to President Erdogan, I'm going to help you out with this Turkish bank case, but here's the important part. Those prosecutors at SDNY aren't my people. Well, guess what? Prosecutors aren't supposed to be Trump's people. They're supposed to be America's people. But this move looks like the president is trying to move, quote, one of his people into one of the most important prosecutive positions in our country. That's what makes this smell very badly. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.